you wake up on a Saturday morning and you have some coffee. And then you decide to take the dog out. You look up in the sky and you see that the sky has sunken. It's completely red and the sun has turned black. The clouds seem to be very low, so low that the clouds are now touching the roofs of your neighbor's house. You start feeling very anxious and you start to have fearful thoughts running through your mind. You can feel that something is coming. It's not far away, but you don't know what it is. It feels apocalyptic. You feel dread. You can't shake this anxious feeling that's getting worse now and it feels like you're going to have a panic attack. You check the TV and all the news channels tell you that it's a gas leak and to have no fear. You turn on your computer, check the internet and there's some channels showing people that are unaliving themselves. Some people are saying it's the return of whatever God they worship. So you call your friends and family. Some of your friends and family are experiencing the exact same thing as you are with a lot of fear and anxiety. But then some of your family members or friends are somewhat scared but are aware of the situation. They tell you to calm down and they even seem more helpful. It seems like your family and friends are split now into two groups. My question is, what will you do in this situation? What side will you be on? When will you start choosing? What is up everyone and welcome back to Alchemy in the Simulacrum with me, Rochelle. Just a quick heads up, this is an introductory video to the video that I'm busy working on and I'll tell you why. You need to start deciding what resonates with you. And a very good example of testing this is the Miami Mall incident. Now, I'm not sure if you actually heard about this incident that took place um, at the beginning of January, but it is quite an interesting um, topic and there's quite interesting information coming out. And then again, depending on where you are in your spiritual journey, you can decide with your discernment what you can take away from this information. Do you believe that it's interdimensional species? Do you believe that it's a PSYOP or government PSYOP? That's totally up to you. watch watch go ahead and there was a whole bunch of them they look all nerdy they weren't like thugged out they were i mean they all dressed nice and shit, but you know they were just right there the guy was like just go ahead and plug it in i mean we're right here we're safe you know and 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 so somebody plugged this shit in and it started it started flickering it started flickering right because there was a column right here you know i was over here on the top i was up here on the top of the level they were down here and i was watching them from over here Okay, so this just started flickering and it was flicking the rows of lights right here. All these lights were flickering. Then it started popping. When it started popping, everybody from over here started running this way to see because everybody was nosy. And as soon as it started popping, this thing started glowing and it started going like, like a, like a force field. Woo, 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 woo. And everybody that was behind this that I was seeing, everybody looked like this like like digital like it was being disruptive by the wave 
only right here they were running as soon as they got close and they see how this thing was moving everybody started going this way when they started going this way these guys started backing up because from this it started glowing and it looked like somebody put a foot out like that and then somebody put a hand out like that and then all you see was this all you see was like this an image like that that's all I seen this was all glowing so it was bright this was the only the dark thing that I thought I seen come out things are only going to start getting crazier and crazier and with those with eyes to see and that are awakening you will know what the truth is you will understand everything that's going on around you and you will use your discernment even more and that's so important when you get a message or when you have the sentence or there's a phrase that's in your mind where is it coming from did you ever ask yourself like where does this phrase come from is it coming from yourself is it you is it your own thoughts is it coming from a higher power source an entity is it coming from the government is the frequencies in the e did you ever stop and ask yourself is this my thoughts now when i mentioned discernment it means you need to feel if it resonates with you does it feel like the truth and i think go with that and also depending on where you are in your spiritual journey you will decide whether information or phrases that pop into your head is from yourself or it could be coming from somewhere else back to the topic that i am actually working on at the moment is a change in frequency and this is also where your discernment will have to come in